plank cut out, the basic shape of it, and it's correct, it fits the boat. Probably one of the hardest things building this boat is to get the shape of these planks. You know, you try to imagine laying out a two-dimensional piece of plywood on a sawhorse and cutting it in such a way that it fits a three-dimensional shape of the boat. Gotten a new appreciation uh, for old tools. Cutting a fair curve onto these planks, you can do pretty good with a skill saw. They cut curves just fine, you know. I've ever tried to cut a straight line with a circular hook. Anyway, um, you get the basic shape, you get close, but to get it right down to your line, uh, just a few strokes. A few strokes with a hand plane, you know, and cutting those gains on the end that I talked about a while ago. I don't know any tool, you know, any router or anything that would give you as much control and do it as efficiently as an older tool that's been around for several hundred years. There must be a reason that the guys that build boats for a living use these kind of tools. I've got a new appreciation for them. And you know, I've got an appreciation for laying out things. You, know, you don't have to figure everything out with the calculator on a piece of graph paper. You know, sometimes you just gotta eyeball it, you know, cut out a pattern, put it up, try it, um, test fit it. As you can see, I've got two more planks on each side, and I'm just kinda now figuring out how to lay these planks out. And not very well, but better than when I started. Um, but, you know, the main thing I would say about building a boat is take your time. Every time there's been a mess up on the boat, something we've had to do over, or something we've had to do slightly differently next time, or something that I wasn't happy with and I had to take apart and redo, uh, is these planks and that boat are not gonna be perfect, no matter how good you are. Um, so you do the best you can, and every time there's been a mistake or a mess up on the boat, it's because I was hurrying things, or I was impatient, or I didn't check that one more time. So if you're building a boat, if you're planning on building a boat, take your time, do things slowly, deliberately. You know, think about what you're doing. Be safe with your tools. And realize that every time you try to hurry, whether it's a joint that you glued up and you're trying to get the plank on and maybe the joint needs to set for another day or putting the, this 22 foot wobbly piece of noodle plywood back up on the boat another two or three times to make sure it fits just right. It's work worth doing.